Sag. Hi, Sag. Welcome to Virtual Twirl. I'm Ava. And I am Trudy. And we are so happy to happy, happy. welcome you for the month of June. This is again the month of the Empress, as you can see. We don't want to give up our cool intro outro. Yeah. So we're using it for two months. All right, so what do we do here at Virtual Tarot? We do a four card spread. And the first card represents the overall environment, the energy of the month for you. And the second card represents um, challenges. That's it. And the third is the unexpected. And the fourth card represents the outcome and the narrative. And we'll go into a little bit of spiritual counseling at that point. And um, I wanted to mention also that we do have a new website yes. and so please go there because our personal and private reading page has been completely and totally revamped. Ooh. So we are sure that you'll be delighted to please choose a reading, pay it's for it. Easier than ever. And then <laughs> send us your questions at avatrudyyahoo.com. We are going to answer your questions right away. Spirit is awesome. Yes, yeah, spirit Great. is, is uh, Spirit is always there. Your guardian angels often help me. I often feel them when I'm reading and they funnel for, for me the information that you need. So there, there, there you go. Please go there. Okay, so we're not messing around this month. As you no. can see, Sag, we're going to do last month's recap. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, you're flanked by two tens. Two tens. Two endings. We're going to start with the ten of wands. The, the Ten of Wands, all right. <laughs> so the Ten of Wands was in the position of environment. It's the overburdened, overwrought guy with a backache who needs to sign up with a massage club. Too many projects. Trying um, to finish them all up. Trying to finish them all by yourself, or at least you feel like you're by yourself. And um, that is depleting, that is depleting you, but you are going to do it because this is the 10 and you are resolved towards getting to the finish line. A bit hard headed even. Yes, and you let your passions drive you regardless of whether you can even see where you're going. Mm -hmm. You just let it motivate you. Yes. So that was in the first position. The second position we had the Page of Swords. Right. So this is about initiating a new idea. Yes. And it is in the position of challenge. It can also mean that you were called to become a scribe, and that was a bit of a challenge as well because yeah. you might have been a scribbler and not a scribe. Um, there was a lot of scribbling going on. Yeah. And it could have been also brainstorming necessary brainstorming. to bring this project to fruition or using your brain excessively. Uh, yeah, well, right. Could or, be. Or using that part of the brain where you are fresh, fresh ideas, fresh new ideas, mm -hmm. so that you're not in this sort of cobwebby, right. where you, you've always dealt in old ideas, right. this is how we do this, that is how we do this. No, you, you kind of blow away all those cobwebs and you become fresh. Yeah, so to boldly go in your brain where no Sag <laughs> has gone before. And then the next card is the Eight of Cups. Which we call the Minor Arcana Hermit card. Right. Which is that, really? It's sort of walking away, making the choice to walk away from something that is already done emotionally. You're finished. You're, you're unexpectedly, you have the courage, you have the uh, emotional strength to walk away from some thing you've had and that you've been invested in. Mm -hmm. Because you're going off to look for something even better. Even better. And even then better. we had in the last position our very unfavored card. Yes. Ten of Swords, which is well, it's hard to last nail in the coffin. Gee, do I have a backache? Going right. right back to that Ten of Wands, which is another backache right. card. So we had said, wow, people are stressing you out, man. <laughs> Sag. And uh, the good news is it's done. It's done. It's a 10. At the end you say, oh, that's it. I'm taking these swords. Oh, one, two, three. Oh. And when you take a sword out, it's almost as painful as when you, it was put in. <laughs> 
Well, that's not funny. Well, so that's not funny. Let's see what's going that's on not funny, so. with you guys this month because need to know. it was um, a productive month, yet a painful month. Yes. Painfully productive. Yes, it was. So let's see. Let's see if you went off and you found the Holy Grail. The Holy Grail or you won the lottery. Let's I'm hoping see. you found the Holy Grail since I have a Sag rising. And as she is putting white light on these cards, I'm going to encourage you to white click light, light. on the link below, which will allow you to check out your rising and your moon. Okay, right. here we go. Okay. I believe so. <gasps> Oh. Wow, okay, these cards do tell a story. Death, 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 death. Two deaths. I see. Well, you know what? Double death. This is a <laughs> really good card, actually, because you had the Minor Arcana Death card finishing out the month. Right. Now, Spirit is just going to throw it in your face and say, that's done. That's completely done. Yes. And so it is the shedding of that old skin so you can... So you can be something completely different so that you can you know every it in our memories when you look back at our life you can see the stages along the way they generally about every seven years you change mm -hmm. who you are from a child to a, a, an adolescent to a young adult to an adult to a middle age to older mm -hmm. each phase of your life you be you you metamorphose mm -hmm. and this is a card of metamorphosis oh my so you literally change on a very deep and fundamental level cellular level cellular level mm -hmm. which is the willing release of what had been behaviors thought patterns what you even what you did changes and how you did it and so this is like a a complete <laughs> um removal it's a great card of all barriers it doesn't look like a great no. card but it's actually a great card but even even death itself real death where you die to this life is really a rebirth into another life and the life you go back to source you go back to the mystery mm -hmm. you would dissolve back into the mystery and it's this sort of dissolving that it's that happens like when someone dies they disappear mm -hmm. from from your eyes but they still exist somewhere else mm -hmm. and so in in real life we dissolve to who we used to be and we become this brand new baby so I got to see what's coming up after this. If it's another, what could it be? Ten of Wands, what would follow that? Your challenge. Your challenge position, what is this? Wow, okay, so this Sag is- So you're celebrating your change. <laughs> you have changed, that's for sure. We have the devil. They have the devil. And it is in the position of the upright. Right, so- maybe So there's a little bit of partying going on, which might become a bit of a challenge. Your addiction might be what you need to change, too. You know, the change that comes over you by conquering your addictions. Mm -hmm. That is the challenge of the moon. Or maybe even the challenge is that this, this unequal power um, partnership, mm -hmm. relationship, that your challenge is to, is to not get caught in the power play. It's funny this would come up in the challenge position. Oh yes, well it is. <laughs> it is a challenge, isn't it? Sex, yes. drugs, and rock and roll. And food. And food. So your challenge is to stay on your diet. <laughs> to um, to indulge your appetites to the point of necessity and not the point of um, Satiation. It's moderation. Moderation. So that's the counsel of spirit. Oh my god. Another one. June. Wow. I'm a Sag rising, so she'll wow. be on the lookout for all of these things. Wow. That's <laughs> so we have awesome. the magician. Yeah, the position of the unexpected. 
Shushedly, you're like just. Don't get expected. Shushedly, you're like just pulling Woo. a miracle out of the hat and. Um, the Magician is a great card. If you look at this card, I mean, this is all, this guy's like a lightning rod, okay? This is action. Yes. And you have the talent, you have all the skills. You take apple right after the birth. Mm -hmm. You take action. Well, right after the right regeneration. Right after the regeneration, you do, you actually participate willfully mm -hmm. driving your, um, your inspiration because he's pointing up to heaven so mm -hmm. you're you're funneling into reality you're manifesting you are creating and it is magic it is it seems like magic or it, it where is you have the power to manifest where right. they, that wasn't there before i think that's the most important right. part and you realize that you have everything you, can, you need you can to do manifest that. A lot of things, though, is what oh, yeah. this reading says. Oh, yes. Yeah. So you have to make sure that you... You can manifest this demon. Right. <laughs> or, if you want to, you can manifest a whole new you. A whole new you, a whole new... Pro this is pure success. Yeah, and it's on a, you're, like, again... You're successful, you're successful period. It's on a cellular level. Yes, you are successful. Unexpectedly, you have the power. You are gleeful, you are full of joy, you are full of energy, you just, like, you, Yeah. you... you Go directly ahead. It reminds me of lucid dreaming, though, where you're like in control of the dream and you can like decide, yeah. hey, yeah. I'm in my dream and I can do whatever I want. I what wanna do I want to do? I want to go to Chicago. Do I want to go and <laughs> have sex with George Clooney or would I rather reinvent myself yeah. and, you know. This is George. <laughs> it's her having sex with George Clooney. Would be me. <laughs> All right, let's go. I have to see. Oh my gosh. Okay, so once again, <laughs> you had a good run anyway, Sag. <laughs> All right, so we have the Ten of Swords. Again. In the same position. <sighs> so. So basically, you're right back where you started. <laughs> no, I'm At the end of the month. Although what we have here is we Not have really. death. And we have the ten. ten. We have death and death. Yes. So, so there's this is a minor. There's a minor severance of something. Well, there's stuff dying in the middle of the month. Okay. Well, Which is okay because there's nothing wrong with that. But to me, this is about boundaries. Uh huh. It's not about like because this has already occurred and this is done. You've already done. You've but already this is about learning what your boundaries right. are. Because even in this new found um, butterfly body. You can still do yourself you can in. Still, you still have people around you who want to do you harm. Well, I feel like and you might do yourself harm. Well, Either way, it doesn't really matter. Doesn't, it, Whether it's you or somebody but else. That comes to an end. You have to allow. So another death. So in another, say, I, say it's just a relationship. Uh, you decide at the end of the month, that's not working for me. I'm not going to have that anymore. I'm not going to do that anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to allow people to do that to me anymore. Right. Well, it can also mean that you have over -par partied. Yes. Or overindulged. Oh, yes. And at the end of the month, you're sort of done in. <laughs> but you it still, is exhaustion. You still have, yes. whether that occurs, which it looks like it may. But it's a minor, it's the only <coughs> minor arcana card of the entire thing. Yes. So it, it's some, some sued by the rest of it. Right, but it does, the whole reading is telling you by going through this transformation, mm -hmm. this process, mm -hmm. you're going to have to deal with the lightness, the light and the dark, okay? So we've got both here. Right. This is the light bringer. Right, and the dark. This is the dark. But the light, definitely, um... I mean, to me, that's what this these is. These two are light, and these two are dark, all right? So it's they're equally balanced, but what you have in your favor is that one of these dark cards is a minor arcana card. And so it might be an individual area of your life, person, mm -hmm. area, True. pocket, mm -hmm. that isn't working, mm -hmm. that you realize isn't working and that you have to literally... Right. I think we're saying the same thing. We're getting yeah. excited because it's all major arcana. All right. But the way I see it is this is change on a cellular mm -hmm. level, which brings forth 
the, the ability to manifest mm -hmm. the light or the dark. Mm -hmm. And this is a casualty. A casualty of that. Of the situation. Because you realize, what if, what if that person is here? Yes. You see? Yes. What if that person is this? Yes, there's a casualty. All right, there's a casualty. I think we agree. We do. But this we is do. more long term because he's got the. Yeah, he is, that's more long term, mm -hmm. honestly. Honestly. And that is a minor something that you have to uproot and, throw, and, and remove from the, right. the environment. Right. Yeah. So wow. There. That's a big reading, Sag. Yes. That's giganto. Ginormous. Yeah, ginormous? Is that the word? <laughs> it's a ginormous, powerful, meaningful reading. Yeah. So with that said, please go to our website, Ava Trudy Virtual Tarot. Check out the readings. It would be a good month to get one since it is a strap yourself in month. And um, wow, this is the biggest reading we've had. Yeah, so far. Of all the readings. Yeah, you're the, you're the most powerful in, for June, at least. Maybe for a very long time. Well, June is a turning point. Well, the, this yeah. is your crossroads right here. The way this is lining up. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot. And we'll see you in the month of July. All right. See you. It's wedding. Yeah, we're leaving, Ellie. I see you again. Uh, Thank you.